Hey everyone, today I wanted to share with you a few of the reasons I think you should consider picking up Enshrouded with your hard-earned money. Now for those of you that aren't quite aware what Enshrouded is all about, it's basically an open-world third-person action-adventure game with a heavy emphasis on exploration, crafting, and of course survival. In fact, many of the major quests that you'll be heading out to complete, they're tied to the NPCs that you'll have set up at your home base, and as you finish each one, you'll unlock new crafting options, and continue the chain of quest. A lot of the map is covered in a deadly toxic mist called the Shroud, and it's up to us to discover the source, try to keep it from spreading, or eliminate it altogether if possible. With that information in hand, let's go ahead and dive into a few of the reasons I think you should buy Enshrouded. Of course there are many more, but I wanted to go over a few that stood out to me the most. All inspiring open world. The game features an amazing and massive open world for players to explore, it's divided into major sections, and the enemies here, as well as that deadly shroud, sort of act as a barrier to keep players on track and away from seeing too much of the game early on. It gives you a real sense of progression as you play through, and keeps the excitement level incredibly high as you discover or unlock new areas. There are plenty of enemy camps or dungeons and tons of different points of interest spread all across the map, so the world feels really alive for the most part, and for those willing to venture off the beaten path a bit, it holds a ton of secrets as well as cool locations. Now the game is still in early access, so there's major patches and updates planned as well that will expand the map even more, so there's a lot to be excited about when it comes to the future of the game. Expansive Talent Tree, Different Classes Another thing I really enjoy about the game is the way skill points work. It allows each player to customize their own gaming experience in a lot of different ways. And depending on how you spec out your character, it can drastically alter how you approach both combat and exploration. For example, one path might give you a double jump, but require you to give up points somewhere else, sacrificing a bit of combat power in order to make exploration a little easier on yourself. Or you could give up a bit of mobility for more explosive attacks, and of course like with similar games, you can create a custom hybrid build that offers a nice balance between the two. You can also respec at almost any time in the game and so playing around with different talents is encouraged while you find what works best for you. And you'll also want to consider if you plan to play solo or with friends as a part of a group where you have a dedicated tank or a healer as this can determine the talents that you'll want to pick up. The Shroud Mechanic Now I mentioned at the start of the video that the world is covered at least partially in a deadly mist called the Shroud and for me this is one of the best mechanics in the game. As I said, it acts as a barrier to keep you sort of in the right area of the map for your current level and where you are in the major quest chains. There are two different types of shroud that you can find in the game. You have the blue mist, which will slowly kill you over time, but you do have several minutes before that happens, and there are ways to extend that time or refresh your timer while you explore these areas. A lot of the tougher creatures and more rare items will be found here as well. And then you have the deadly shroud, which is a red color and will kill you in just a matter of seconds, and so of course you want to avoid these areas at all costs. Now what's really cool is that your home base, or more specifically the flame altar itself, can be upgraded finding a list of materials, and doing so will remove more and more of the deadly shroud, which allows you to venture off into new areas of the map, eventually uncovering some of the most ferocious enemies, best crafting materials, as well as endgame level, legendary armor and weapons. There are many other reasons to consider picking up Enshrouded as well, but I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of some of the features I really enjoyed while playing through the game. I think it took me a little over 60 hours to finish everything, and I did spend a little time building up my home base and farming for different gear or weapons, but I think you can expect at least 40 to 50 hours of gameplay, and it's not a full price game either. You can actually pick it up for about $30 right now on Steam, and start venturing off into the shroud covered world in preparation for the next major update which shouldn't be too far off all right everyone that wraps up today's video i hope you enjoyed the game if you decide to pick it up and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if this was your first time here and i'll see you on the next one take care everyone